But anyway, here we go. Round number one. There are four rounds per map. Let's see who is gonna do the cut. Nope, everyone is going to go through. Oh, so Juna in the lead at the moment, followed by Maji One. Oh, Maji One has overtaken. I think PRL still not that far behind. Everyone's going for the cut on this section, so who is gonna get it? Juna gets it pretty spot on there, so he should be finishing first place. Oh, Maji One has to reset, unfortunately, so PRL will take second place. Juna takes it with a 30.5, which is, yep, pretty much auto. So, they are not really doing what Kuda Jinkwa did in some of the previous rounds, but ju what Juna did was still pretty quick. I mean, I, we have already seen people done uh, on 28 seconds. But yeah, good start by Junazat so far. As we move on to round 2. Yeah, again, sorry for the pop noises. Uh, I think they just forgot to disable it. As, uh, yep, I probably wouldn't want to stick with PRL for much longer. Because it's PRL with a much higher line. But again, internet is causing some issues. We have no idea if he's first or not. Oh, it looks like he is, because yeah, he's well and truly ahead. Juna cutting a lot of uh, penalty there, there. Oh, PRL is going for the safe threat as Juna may make it 2 for 2. Yes, he is actually very consistent on this cut now. So, he should be taking first pretty easily. It's neck and neck between Majiwa and PRL. And... Wow, Majiwa takes it by quite a bit. Hello, Veva. Yeah, oops. <laughs> you messed that chocolate emote. Yes, you... Not, I mean, only missed like 2 rounds. It's fine. But yeah, how is your day as we start off the third round of this first map? Junazat already has won the first two and Pierre has touched, so Poi would not be in the running as we go with his two Maji 1. Definitely a much more aggressive start from him. Guna is still not that far behind with uh, about 10 for two down. Wow, Junazat jumping really far. He's really getting the cut down, but as because of the extra speed, he goes and flips. Yeah, that is true, Veva. And what's also true is Majuan actually winning for the first time in this map, followed by PRL and Juna. Because, yeah, Juna just took too much risk. In, yeah, too much risk. Unlucky. I mean, you should make a macro, Veva, by the way. Not sure if you can do that with your current keyboard, but yeah. You should make a macro. Anyway, last one on this first map. I have no idea what the next map is done. But yeah, I would say Junazat definitely needs to... I don't, I don't know, but what I do know is PRL definitely crashed right there. So again, much one with their advantage in the first half of the map. So let's be going downhill to the jump. Again, Juna with their very risky jump. Will he take cut? Yes, he does. But he takes a little bit wide. Might lose some speed, but I think he should be getting first place. Yep. Oh, Maji One has messed it up. So it looks like PRL will be getting second despite. The... I love and what's Maji One doing? The finish. Uh, the finish, Maji One. There you go. Yep, Juna has won three of the four rounds, which would be that we uh, we'll get a grand total of thirty-five. Already halfway to the five point total. Still all to play for because uh, yeah, there's only like one point happening. Alright, let's see who is... What, sorry, Ooh, what? No, what is the next map? Ah, it's this one. And pretty much the other card map that they have in the map packs for the X card number 25. Pretty much the card's only at the ending though. So, you still want to get as good of a run as possible. Everything before the card. So, because the earlier you reach the card, the better your chances will be. Even if you mess it up, by the way. So yeah, again, one minute warm up. Juna doesn't seem to like that as he crashes quite easily there. So again, if you want to watch the other low bracket match that's happening simultaneously, you can go to Sotirishash vs. Z14. I believe he's with uh, against Leviathan and Mio. Sorry, not Mio, sorry, Macaroni. Can look at him in the other 
think they are already actually already in the second map and it seems that the uh we're still just barely edging it at the moment but he is kind of messing up the end Yeah, so the other match is ahead by quite a bit. So this is taking quite a while, actually. This thing. Anyway, here we go. Spotty card number 25. See who gets that long win. The moment, Maji1 is having a card. Neck and neck with Juna. PRL seems to have some issues yet again, so... Tough at the moment. Oh. Uh, has oh PIL came out of nowhere actually, but it's still pretty far, so it's probably just taking too tight of a line to make things hands. Majiwan still in the lead, still pretty close between him and Juna. Are they gonna do the cut? Yes. Majiwan gonna do it. Yes, very nice by Majiwan there. 34 7. Unfortunately, PRL and Juna went for the safe fin. Actually, PRL actually went ahead of him. So that's. Well, Juna is still in the lead, but Maji won with that one win. Yeah, again, apologize for the card noises. I think yeah, it's very slow. There. Yeah, apologize for the card noises. Uh, yeah, just for your setting that they. You kind of like this is what the MGL was. So it seems Juna has had a bad start because he's so far away that Maji won is sticking ahead, as we should not stick with PRL for much longer. Maji1 seems to be really at ease with this map. Can he do the cut for 2 and 2 though? Because you can be as comfortable as you can, but if you mess up the cut, and he actually does it. Mentator's curse right there. Juna still very far away. Actually, what is happening? Oh, Maji1 has so much time that he still messes up the cut. It's a fiesta, guys. PRL is actually going for the safe pin. And he's actually gonna win. <laughs> Juna has rage quit, and Maji1 gets second place. I mean, he finally got the card. What a fiesta that is. Definitely not the fastest time you ever see from these people. And, uh, yep, I, I have a feeling Juna should have just went for this. Because now it's all to play for. Because Maji is now 44 points. We are just one point behind. So, I'm not sure if Juna should have reached with. Anyway, round number 3 or 4 on this map. Game okay, Maji1. Like, it seems Maji1 has been pretty consistent at the start, but PRL, despite his internet issues, is now actually a hit, thingy, but Maji1 takes a tighter line and overtakes PRL yet again. Juna seems to be kind of, uh, I don't know, a bit distracted by something because he's now last yet again. Looks like Maji1 has got that consistency and gets into the cut yet again. PRL finishes second, followed by Junazar. Yeah, just like that, Maji1 might be the first person to get into the first final. This record final, sorry. Yeah, Juna now kind of lagging behind now, so he really needs to pick up pace yet again. Of course, maybe, you know, maybe he's used to the that, that last map that we're gonna play. I don't know, maybe he's just saving it for later. So at the moment it seems Junas are definitely a better start than us. Oh, what happened there? Did he hit something? I have no idea. But either way, Maji1 is now stricter hit. PRL now already a second behind, so must have done some reset right there. Oh wow, Juna now they're pretty close. But looks like Maji1 is gonna be the only one that starts the cut and he's again he's probably gonna Oh no! Ah he hits the slow mo, that is not good, and Juna takes it instead. And PRL was second place. Yep, unfortunate for Maji1 because he took that slow mo block. Unlucky. Wow, okay. So it's still pretty close after this map. Nice uh, drift by Maji1 there. Not sure what happened. But yeah, it's still all to play for as we go on to that last map of the map pack. Pretty much the shortest map that we have in the map pack. For the X751. I love Trackmania woke up. I I realize like the the like the stuff that we have is showing Trackmania woke up. I might have I might have but I'm not sure what happened there. But anyway. We are on the last map. 
So again, as I mentioned, the only way that you can really gain a lot of time is pretty much the finish. Because do you want to risk going too tight? Like that? Or you want to get as much speed as you can before you even reach that part? But then you risk like... You know, going like oh, like way too wide in the wing finish, therefore losing precious time. So yeah, it's a deal or no deal kind of situation. You want to go now or you want to do the tight finish? Ten seconds to go while I look at the seals. Hmm. Um, I believe the Viton is currently in finally smooth, but I think most likely the seal will be able to get through to the next round unless I'm jinxing it. But anyway, here we go. Focus back on this particular match. Start off round one of the X751. What you want again? Looks like he's definitely more than warm up right now, but PRL is not that far behind. Less than a tenth between them. Look, oh wow, okay. Majiwan took way too much drift there, so Pierre might just be winning this. Oh, Majiwan way too wide. Oh no, what's happening? Pierre. Yeah, sorry, Majiwan has gone way, way, way too wide. Actually, he should have just went for this. But yeah, that's actually Pierre L taking his first win of the match. Wow, what an upset that is. Yep, still all to play for. Oh. Yep, still all to play for. Juna. Would need actually a win to get finally smoke, but I believe every like like pretty much there could be a case where this one could make everyone a triple finalist. So let's hope and see that we get that because I love and team. It seems that we're not getting that because Majiwan is clearly in the lead. PL is very far behind, and as long as Majiwan doesn't mess things up, it's quite comfortable. Wow, PIL actually took Juna's out of that second place. So Juna unfortunately does not get the finalist. So we're gonna get at least one person into the next round on this round. Because Juna either that or Juna needs to deny these other two. So let's see if he is successful. So good luck to Pierre and Majiwan. Majiwan with the very tight Oh he's gone wide. That is not the way to it. Looks like Juna might get his wish, unless... Oh no, he's gone too wide again! Oh, that is unlucky by Juna there, as PRL, from out of nowhere, actually getting the round win, and into the next round. Oh, this is actually a pretty close one. So it's up to Juna. Can Juna actually assert Majiwa? Which will be kind of harsh on Majiwa, because Majiwa had been the most consistent of and it would be kind of a shame if, you know, this map was his undoing. Oh, Majiwan has drifted too much, but it looks like Juna has gone even worse. Getting back this time. Who's gonna get it? Oh my... What? <laughs> Juna! Oh my god, he almost hit the finish, but he ends up in it anyway. That was a close round. Goodness me. Oh. That was close. And therefore, Juna actually goes to the next one. Yep, unlucky for Majiwan that despite being first for the majority of the match, he is definitely out of the of this event. Wow. This is only the first match, my goodness. So yeah, if you just missed it, Viton and Oseo are indeed into the next round of the lower bracket. Yeah, Mew did join pretty late. So because I, from what, from the start, like, you know, there were like people, so. I don't know, that was kind of dumb. I feel like there should be a setting where you, like, you know, those that are late, they just can't join anymore. Ah, I see. So the Feds was supposed to be in here, but he did not join our match that we casted earlier. So, yeah, unfortunately, Maji won. Yeah, I got a feel for him because, uh, yeah, he was legit had 35 points at the, at the end of the first map. Oh, I, no, actually, no. Actually, no, no, no. Actually, Maji won was, like, a hit. Um... After the second map, sorry. So, yeah, boy, the mistakes that he did actually cost. And then Juna as well. He almost cost himself because he was the one that was uh, uh, the first map.